Whenever a new product hits the market, I love to look at what it replaces, because quite often there's a bargain to be had, and I really think that's the case with these. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PX7 S2 noise cancelling headphones. Quick confession, I've had these for quite a while now and I'm a little bit late to the party. In my defence, I'd intended to review these a few weeks back, but then Google and Apple got involved and everything went completely mad. Oh, and then to compound matters, Bowers & Wilkins introduced the PX8s, which are obviously the successors to these. And no, I haven't got a pair of those yet. But does that make this video pointless? No, not at all, because these demand your attention. Let's start with pricing as always. The PX7 S2s can be bought for £379. That puts them in about the same ballpark as the Bose 700s, which I love, but it does make them 50 quid more expensive than the Sennheiser Momentum 4s, which I reviewed recently, I'll link above to that review, and I loved them as well. But these are still a lot cheaper than AirPods Max, which isn't difficult. Although we should also remember that these are about £220 cheaper than the new PX8s. But the good news about these PX7 S2s is that they compete very well against all of those other headphones for very different reasons. If we start with the design, the look, the feel, the finish of these PX7 S2s, I think these might be my favourite ever looking pair of headphones. That's quite a big claim, I know, but every time I look at these headphones, I just fall in love with them a little bit more. They look so premium without being too garish or, like the AirPods Max, a bit too shiny and metally. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but they just look very nice. It looks like you're getting a lot for your money. I know the presence of big brands brand names on products isn't for everyone. I quite like it. And let's be honest, if you're wearing a pair of Bowers and Wilkins headphones, you probably know what you're doing. They're really comfortable as well. There's plenty of padding here. There's loads of padding on the ear cups. It's nice and soft. It's not too warm. I've worn these for long stretches of time without any discomfort. And a massive shout out to whoever got the physical buttons through on these. This is what we need on headphones, guys. I don't think there are any touch controls on these. If there are, I haven't discovered them. And that's a good thing. So we've got physical play controls, we've got a proper switch to turn them on and off and invoke the Bluetooth connection, and a button for noise cancelling. My only gripe is that they are not labelled, apart from obviously the power button. The others, you kind of have to guess what they are. Another huge win for these headphones is the case. Now, if you know me by now, you know that I am massively boring about headphone cases, but I don't care. They are really important for the ownership experience, and Bowers & Wilkins have got this right. Now, it is a little bit bigger than the Sony XM4 case, which remains my favourite headphone case of all time, but I'll forgive them that. It's a really nice material, nice and sturdy, good zip, and inside, this is where it beats the XM4 case, to be honest, because we have this little magnetic flap for all of your bits and bobs, basically. And I love little touches, like the cables that you get have a Bowers & Wilkins branded cable tidy that comes with them. That's very nice. It's not too thick, so it sits in your bag very nicely. Top stuff. Moving on to sound, and the PX7 S2s are compatible with all of the important codecs. So you've got aptX Adaptive, aptX HD, AAC, you name it. On the subject of testing the sound of these, the more I do this with these kind of headphones, the more I realise how subjective this is. I always test headphones out of the box without any EQ, just to see what the manufacturer intends. If I start EQing them to my taste, that isn't a balanced review, I'm not really checking out what the manufacturer thinks we should hear. Now these can be EQ'd just like any headphones and you may not like the type of sound that I like. But the first thing I will say about the PX7 S2s is that the sound stage is huge. And by that I mean how wide the music sounds. So if you've got stuff panned left and right in each of the ear cups, they really do sound left and right, which sounds odd, but when you find the right track for that, it's incredible. My podcast co-host Rob, if you haven't heard 8 or 16 yet, check out the link in the description, he suggested that I try out Katy Perry's Never Really Over. Now, I'd never heard that song before, Rob, but thank you for suggesting it. The reason he suggested it, though, was because it demonstrates just how good the soundstage is on these headphones. It features all kinds of things going on on the left and the right-hand side of the soundstage, and lots of double-tracked harmonies, that sort of stuff. It sounds incredible on these headphones. But as for the sound overall, I'd call it grown up, assured, confident, 
safe, non-fatiguing, and these coped with all of my headphone test tracks. Yes, even Breathe Again by Pop Evil. I think they're really considerately EQ'd out of the box. They don't really lean any which way in terms of being too bass heavy or too top endy, if that's a word, or too middly. They're just very nice. This won't be for everyone, but I do think there's a lot to be said for a pair of headphones that don't skew one way or the other. We've got lots of cans out there that are tuned to be very bassy or just a bit too harsh at the top end. These are just perfectly in the middle. They can sound huge if the track and the moment calls for it, but equally they can sound very, very chilled out and gentle if you just want to chill out. That works for me big time. Let's talk about noise cancelling. Now, I think we've reached a point with headphones where if you spend over, let's say, 200 pounds, 250 quid, you're gonna get fantastic noise cancelling. That wasn't always the case. Sometimes you'd spend that money and you'd get noise cancelling that was too oppressive, too noisy, or just not very effective at all. But the development of noise cancelling has clearly come on leaps and bounds. And you can see that in products like the PX7 S2s. It's really, really good. It's just as good as AirPods Max. It's just as good as anything Bose can do and it is absolutely on a par with Sony. The PX7s dampen the world around you very nicely. They're not too oppressive. And what I mean by that is that sometimes with noise cancelling headphones, it can feel like you're too hemmed in and it's a bit, it's like a, a cloud around you that's kind of pushing into your ears. Terrible description, but you know it if you hear it. You don't get that on these. They've got transparency mode as well, where you press the button here and it lets in the outside world. Again, it's not as good as AirPods Max, but I haven't found a pair of noise cancelling headphones that have as good transparency mode as AirPods Max. But then AirPods Max are very expensive, so we can forgive that. Battery life is rated at 30 hours, which is fantastic. Anything above 25 hours is perfect for most people. If you charge these for 15 minutes, you get seven hours of playback. That's brilliant. And the standby time is epic as it should be. When it comes to calls, I've said this so many times on this channel, I don't use over-ear headphones for calls. They do work, I've tested them very briefly and you can hear the person on the other end, they can hear you, there was no trouble, so they're fine, but I'm not the best person to take advice from when it comes to calling quality on over-ear headphones, but I think you'll be okay. Conclusion time, and the PX7 S2s, the best way I can explain my experience with these and how I feel about them now, is that I have to give these back. They're just a review unit, I have to give them back to the company that gave them to me, and I don't want to, I'm gonna miss them. I think that speaks volumes of these headphones. I've got lots of other headphones in this studio that I keep, and it's nice to have them around, but if they were taken away from me, let's say, for instance, if the Sony XM5s were wrenched from my grip, even though I don't hold them very often, if they were taken from me tomorrow, I wouldn't miss them at all. But there's something about these PX7 S2s. The design plays a huge role in this, and I can't really get over on a video just how good they look. They're so premium, and more importantly, it makes you feel like you've spent your money well. And the sound is great as well. It's not gonna please everyone. People who want a really bombastic sound, or they want something that leans very heavily towards one type of frequency, these may not cut it, possibly, I don't know, but you can EQ them, and even if you don't EQ them, as I mentioned earlier, they handle, I think, most types of music very, very well. They won't completely knock your socks off, but they do sound, I think, as expensive as they look. Because clearly they've spent a long time EQing these to get them just right, and you're paying for Bowers and Wilkins' experience in that area. They've also got that fantastic case, which I'm a big fan of, and they are £220 cheaper than the PX8s. I'm sure the new version is fantastic, but if you're saving the pennies at the moment, like so many people are, and you want a very premium, great sounding, brilliantly noise cancelling pair of headphones, the PX7 S2s are pretty hard to beat. Now you could of course save yourself another £50 and go for the Sennheiser Momentum 4s, and if you're interested to see what they can do for you, keep watching for a link to my full review.